How are you, Mr. Gary? Tom here. First of all, Happy New Year. I hope that uh, you enter the New Year strong and you have all your health problems behind you. Uh, listen, <clears throat> I got your email, so uh, I wanted to respond to the email and I think that's going to be easier because uh, this uh, way I can show you a little bit of, uh, you know, summary for what we did uh, in the past year. So it's going to be easier for you to decide what you want to do moving forward. Uh, I got in front of me, this is analytics, this is your uh, traffic for the past uh, few months and uh, to be exact from the August because we, I remember we started working together in the middle of the August. So um, as you can see, there is a spikes on a month when we were uh, advertising. Uh, I know that we had a few campaigns running in September and definitely November was the most aggressive one so far. Uh, and as you can see, we stop advertising and a December number uh, <coughs> are definitely lower. So uh, it's working, it's definitely working. And even if you see the numbers here in uh, uh, our table, it's like uh, we had a 3,000, over 3,000 session uh, for those months. And as you can see, number one is a Facebook uh, and this is mobile Facebook. So people on the phone that's direct entry. This is people who were uh, seeing address somewhere uh, and they just uh, type the address directly. Uh, this is just a strictly uh, organic search, meaning probably people were you know, putting uh, some sort of like uh, keywords like uh, I don't know, Barbados vacation or Barbados hotels and uh, this sort of stuff. And the rest is Facebook. Facebook, that's also Facebook because those are clicks from uh, my, my counting uh, website. I have a website which I'm using to um, uh, track the clicks and this is one of them. This is also Facebook and this is also Facebook. So I would say definitely 50-60% of all the traffic came from our uh, Facebook advertising efforts <clears throat> and um, uh, you mentioned the visa uh, in your email the e3 visa section and uh, i also wanted to show you uh, the impact of the ads on uh, visitors on uh, uh, on this particular page and let's go to behavior let's go to site content and all pages Yeah, so this is uh, our main pages and visitors to those pages and this is our E3 visa page and as you will see Yeah, so that's 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 very obvious that this is the moment when we advertise this is a September Yeah, August September that's where we were spending money on the advertising and that's the only visitors you had so as you can see, it's it's they do work. Uh, so uh, if you have a particular campaign, we definitely can aim in a, you know whatever we wanna chase after. Uh, also, the second thing, which is kind of in the background, but is very important, and I pointed this couple times, and I, I wanna do this one more time just to tell you that um, in your this is a backend of Facebook, and this is something which we called. Uh, asset asset library uh, and this is where Facebook is kind of uh, keeping track and putting into the folders the the audience which are uh, visiting your website I have a couple folders here which I created and uh, uh, like you see for example web visits uh, 180 which means that uh, you know people who are visiting your website during the past 180 days uh, already have uh, like a nice thousand people here which Facebook recognize meaning that I can for example right now when I'm be doing ads if we're gonna be doing ads I can uh, tell Facebook to find me people who are similar to those 900 people who already visited your website uh, which is a nice asset I have uh, people who are watching the videos we have a uh, small videos within the uh, ads and I have already 1100 watching those videos so I can build the audience based on those people and this is very good audience also 2100 people who are engaged on our facebook page meaning that they click like or or, or, or comment or any kind of activity on a facebook page it's going to this audience so i can again i can address those people directly or or tell facebook to find me people who are similar to those people 
So as you can see, you, you, you're building here in the back end a nice library of people who have something to do with either your website or your Facebook page. So this is, this is also like a nice um, bypass product of uh, advertising. So uh, moving forward, uh, what I think, and uh, I'm glad to hear that you uh, you have a solid booking for the next few months, for at least for those winter months. Uh, probably your cash flow is better and stuff like that. So I would I would definitely start thinking about putting aside some money towards the advertising and then build up some general advertising audience. Meaning, uh, the, I like the idea of promoting the events on Barbados because that's that's what you're selling basically. Uh, you know necessary the hotel is I would say the second thought but the first of all the people are coming to Barbados because of particular uh, events or things to do or they just want to you know hang out on the beach and stuff like that so <clears throat> what I would do moving forward I would build the uh, general ad which talks about all those events throughout the year I would maybe probably get them to land on a page which has a listing of those uh, events. I was doing a little bit of the poking around and I know that there's a few major events on the island like a jazz festival, Hold on festival, the Sandy Lane Gold Cup, Hold the Scrop Over of course, this is the major one. Uh, so what I would do, I would probably create the, the landing page for uh, with the calendar of those events and just start advertising to audience and get them to this page and then from this page get them to uh, the, uh, the the calendar the booking page of your hotel so that would be my my sequence which i would recommend uh, at recommending the uh, barbados events and from barbados events to your booking uh, page that would be the flow of the advertising so there will be one ad and i would start testing on the different countries of course and it looks like the major countries for us is at this point uh, United States, Canada, uh, and uh, Australia, of course, and uh, United Kingdom. So <clears throat> I would start poking those countries with the general ad and see which one is the best. And a second, like you mentioned also, the E3 visa. I have some already asset and some artwork, so it will be just a matter of uh, reactivating those ads and uh, uh, start putting a little bit of the budget towards those ads. So, uh, yeah, that would be the main thing which I would kind of uh, set it and forget it sort of situation. So uh, I would start testing in January heavily those, those ads and then they just let them run. Uh, so that would be probably the uh, uh, best way to go. And then if you still have a budget, we can uh, start poking different audiences. Like uh, I still would like to go back to the... Uh, gay community market. I think that's this is a, is a great idea. So that that's something which, uh, on a side, could be tested. But uh, it all depends, of course, on the budget. Uh, on the money side, of course, I would still recommend to uh, advertise with at least three hundred dollars a month minimum for the ad spending, which is, gives you around ten bucks per day. Uh, which I think at this point is, a, is sort of like a minimum because those days of five dollars per uh, day are over on a Facebook. The Facebook is definitely getting a little bit more expensive. And uh, uh, as far as my fee, again, if if the money is concerned, uh, what we can do is like I can, you know, work uh, on uh, setting up the campaigns throughout January on this general campaign and uh, E3 visa campaign and uh, start testing them heavily and then uh, after January we would just uh, we could lower down my fee to something which uh, just the maintenance fee which uh, you know would cover uh, me running your Facebook page and uh, monitoring the ads and I give you the reports on a weekly basis similar to what we're doing right now so um, let me know and uh, again uh, i'm glad that you're entering new year with some successful booking and stuff like that and um, i hope to hear from you soon let's uh, keep in touch thank you mr gary